Price Discrimination by Camilla Chadha. Price discrimination is a pricing strategy which enables firms to maximize profit by converting consumer surplus into producer surplus. This happens by firms charging different consumers different prices for the same good. First degree price discrimination is where firms charge a maximum price that a consumer is willing to pay to each consumer. For example, on a market stall, depending on each consumer and their surplus, the seller will charge different prices. Second degree price discrimination is when for each unit of goods sold, a different price is charged. For example, the three for two offer in Waterstones is if you buy one book, it's £7.99 and if you buy three, it's £15.98. This lures in consumers to pay more than, that they, more than they had planned to. And obviously, it's not just a cost to consumer, it's also a cost to the firm. Third degree price discrimination is by far the most popular and important one in the Edexcel syllabus. This is when groups of consumers are, um, are differentiated and they are charged different prices for the same good. For example, Topshop has identified one of its group of consumers as being students, which tend to have a smaller consumer surplus and a more elastic demand. So Topshop charges students a price 20% cheaper than whatever everyone else has to pay. Topshop can attract more students and maximize profits as well as keeping their other consumers. And in order for firms to do this type of discrimination, four conditions need to be in play. The four conditions are, one, they need to identify different groups of consumers, for otherwise discrimination cannot be taken place. Two, these groups of different consumers should have different elasticities of demand and that they should, this should be clear to the firm. If this is not possible, it is impossible to charge different prices and maintain demand. Furthermore, the elasticities de denote whether a firm should charge a higher or a lower price. 3. The firm must have sufficient market share, otherwise consumers with inelastic demand will become demand elastic and revert to competitors. And 4. The firm must be able to prevent the resale of the product, otherwise no one will buy from them and they will just buy the cheaper resale of the product. Consumer and producer surplus. By attacking consumer surplus, the firm is able to convert consumer surplus into producer surplus. This means that consumer welfare is less. However, not for all consumers. The ones with the elastic demand, for example, students who are being charged a lower price, they're probably better off um, with the discrimination than without. Also, it tends to increase producer surplus because you're converting consumer um, surplus into producer surplus however not for all consumer groups again for like students there won't be as much producer surplus as they hope to have um, achieved in order to demonstrate price discrimination on a diagram three diagrams should be drawn the first two diagrams show how consumer surplus is converted into profit, i.e. by charging a higher price when demand is inelastic and a lower price when demand is elastic. The last diagram shows a monopoly firm and why MC equals AC. And hence the profit that the firm makes from the two different consumer groups. The yellow area rep represents the profits made in each market. The firms benefit from this, that's why they like to price discriminate, they get increased revenue, profits, they also get more um, producer surplus. Also, it's good for consumers because it's a chance for firms to make super normal profits and invest into research and development and create a more variety of products. Also, the, maximize, um, the maximum amount of profit that's made here can be used to cross-subsidize other goods. However, there are four disadvantages. In order to this, do this, you need to have all four conditions in play. And also, by doing this, you are also allowing a chance for competition to come in because those people who you are charging a higher price to obviously wish that they were charged a lower price to even though demand is inelastic and this is a perfect opportunity for a, com a competitor to come in and steal that market. Thank you for watching. Please visit my blog a2withcamilla.blogspot.com.